example. So last week I talked about that mean old king of Egypt, also called Pharaoh. Well, Pharaoh still had some pretty strange rules because of his fear. And one Israelite mother decided that she didn't want her son to have to live in that fear. And so she decided to trust that God would actually deliver her son to safety. So what she did is she built a basket and placed her baby boy inside that basket and sent it floating down the Nile. And at the end of the Nile River, the basket actually floated into the palace. And Pharaoh's daughter discovered the basket and the little baby boy. And God was working in that moment because Pharaoh's daughter decided to go ahead and keep the child as opposed to, you know, turning it into her dad. And then years passed and this little baby boy grows up and Pharaoh's daughter gave him the name Moses because he was drawn out of the water. And Moses grew to be a strong, healthy man. And one day he decided to visit the construction site where all the other Israelite workers were. But when he got there, he saw that some of the soldiers, the Egyptian soldiers, weren't treating his people very well. And two of them in particular were beating up on this poor slave and, and he just wanted to stop them. So he runs over and he tries to stop them and, and something happens and accidents happen and suddenly the soldier was killed. Moses was so scared of what he had done. He was so guilty that he decided to just run away. Because surely if he would run far enough away, then he can leave all of his mistakes and his problems behind him in Egypt. Have you ever felt like that? Where you've done something wrong and you feel really scared about how maybe mom or dad or a teacher, maybe even a friend is gonna respond. It can be scary when we mess up. I mean, accidents happen and we're not perfect, so we make mistakes. But the important thing is, is that we shouldn't run away from them. And Moses, even though he crossed an entire desert, God still found him. And God wasn't finished with Moses just like God isn't finished with you or I. So, today in your small groups, I want you to talk about a time when maybe you made a mistake and maybe an accident happened and you tried to hide it or tried to run away. Like, you accidentally broke a glass and you kind of hid some of those pieces underneath the napkin. Or you were playing with a friend's toy and it broke and Rather than telling your friend, you kind of pushed it off to the side. Maybe you really ran away and you were kind of sad that you did. Well, talk about that time with your teachers and with your classmates. And just like the baby boy was a surprise gift for Pharaoh's daughter, Jesus came as a surprise gift to earth. And so for our God sighting today, talk about a surprise gift that you've received. What is something that God has surprised you on? Was it a literal gift? Was it a gift of forgiveness? Share that with your teachers and with your classmates. And until then, I'll see you next time. Bye!